What up, guys? Steak Ambassador Max Holloway here, coming to you live from Fight Week UFC 308. Make sure you check out Steak for a massive offer on live fight this Saturday against Ilya Teporia. And don't forget to use code BLESS308 when you register on Steak to get a 200% bonus on your first deposit. Steak, bet with the best. Camp in Hawaii was uh, great. And great. We did what we could do. We did what we control. One more last thing to do, make weight. Next week, Friday. And fun part on October 26th. So, this is another camp, man. Another fight. I my, my physical and mental tour in hell for weeks at a time. Ain't nothing new. I've been here before. Been there, done that. Been there, done that. Can't wait to go get done, man. Can't wait. I feel like every fight since that bug fight, or even before, I mean, my whole career, I feel like I just was always backed up into a corner. And I always made it out. So, this ain't gonna be no different. Just can't wait, man. Can't wait. You squeezed in the last, last round today. Coach birthdays today. Yeah. Got one last workout with the best staying conditioning coach in all of the land, all of the world, Darren Yap. His birthday today. Our coaches are getting old, so we gotta like speed run, be like Alex Burr and speed run the rest of the rest of my, my career. All jokes aside, it is my coach's birthday, you know. He been with it with me to ups and downs to everything. On his birthday he'll be a worker. It's next level, you know. What a beast. And you get some time in Japan. A few hours. Got a few hours in Japan, a little layover. Eat some great sushi before we head on to the desert. So can't wait. Looking forward to that. Looking forward to that. Flight down over from Hawaii to here. Had a nice little layover in uh, Japan that the boys got to enjoy and eat a lot, as you can see. You're gonna see in the video. But we're here, finally figured out a hotel situation, which getting in at 4 a.m. in the morning is never ever fun to figure out a hotel situation. But uh, we got it done and we're heading to the gym now. Uh, we're gonna go and uh, do a strength and conditioning workout, a light one. Let's get the blood flowing again, get some food after that, and then go train again later on tonight. So, just glad to get our bones moving after 24 plus hours of travel time, 18, plus, 18 hours in the air. It's crazy. Basketball player.
Um, yeah, so I started working with Max many years ago, I guess with the, the second Aldo fight. Um, and then for several after that, and then between there, you know, he, he had some pots at 155 and I got married, I had kids. And uh, I told him to call me when he's a millionaire and I'll come back. No, I just got, you know, a lot, a lot going on. Very busy, very busy now. Like I said, I do have a family. Um, I work with all kinds of different athletes now. NFL, Major League Baseball, NBA, all kinds of different athletes. Um, you know, and Max has a pretty good setup now. He's got a wife who, who loves to cook and is good at it. And he's a, he's a professional, so he keeps his weight in check. But he just wanted a little bit of extra help again this time because it is you know, quite a travel, quite a distance, and returning back to championship weight after fighting at a 155. So maybe maybe I'm just here for for some extra security, or maybe I'm just here to uh, for comedic relief. I don't know. And uh, I don't know if you can tell the story or not, but I heard that. You kind of starved him, the, you know, a few years ago, and Max had to go and buy some uh, yes. some bars. So what happens? What happens when you're really heavy and you have to make one one forty five? Is you you have to eat less. So this was several several fights ago, many years ago, and I find out Max tells me after his fight. After the fight, he makes weight, fights over, Max lets me in on the secret that he had a protein bar stash. So, made sure he told me that after the fact. After the job was done, he did good, he won, so no one could be mad. <laughs> so if we go to today's menu, what's on, what's on the menu for today? Um, I'm doing some, I just kind of call it a, a garlic herb chicken. I'm not a chef. Like I, I'm not, I tell people this all the time. I'm a nutrition science guy. I'm a registered dietitian, master of science, human nutrition. I know nutrition. Um, I also just happen to cook pretty good. Um, so a lot of the things people ask me, what do you call this? I'm like, I have no idea. I'll just tell you what's in it. Uh, but I don't make a lot of, I don't have a lot of fancy things or anything like that. I've just learned how to make good food and the food that the body needs when you're cutting weight and the macronutrients it needs and the ingredients it needs. I just learned to put those together and make them taste good. So it comes in handy during fight weeks when fighters are usually used to food not tasting very good.